After 9.30 on this Tuesday morning, now Botswana's President Mokwetsi Masisi is being accused of clamping down on dissenters. Now this follows the arrests of journalists and members of the opposition, including that of outspoken opposition activist Resejo Khosidinsi. We spoke to the Umbrella for Democratic Change on Sunday on this channel, and this is what they had to say. I can confirm that uh, uh, Comrade Resejo Khosidinsi was arrested by members of the intelligence services and um, she was taken into the custody of the Botswana police, the serious crime squad. Um, her only crime, it would seem, was to post a Facebook, uh, on, on Facebook, that um, uh, she wishes to mobilize um, patriots across the country to protest against gender-based violence. Uh, Botswana has recently become one of the most violent societies. Um, we have on average six rapes a day and about three or four murders a week, and mostly of women. So um, she had uh, put up a Facebook post, um, and then it would seem she was arrested for that. She hasn't been charged, she was released, but uh, it's a trend, it's a trend under the current president. Well, let's now speak to President Masisi spokesperson Batlalefi Lekajang uh, joining us uh, this morning. Batlalefi, a very good morning and thanks so much for your time. Uh, I'm sure you heard that clip, you are aware of that interview. Just your response uh, to, 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 to what the Umbrella for Democratic Change had to say about what's been going on. Thank you very much for, for hosting us. And, uh, hello? Hi, Batlalefi, yes, do go on. We can hear you. Uh, Oh, thank you very much for, for hosting me. I think it's important for the presidency to respond to the statements uttered by the member of parliament, which are fallacious. And I think it's very important to bring to the attention of your viewers, to bring to the attention of your viewers that uh, there is a propensity of some people in Botswana. Some people in Botswana actually have the propensity to rush to international media in South Africa and paint a sombre and a dull picture about the government of Botswana and His Excellency the President, Dr. Mokwaiti Eric Masisi, in an effort to win sympathy from, as well as to carry favor with the international community. And they do that a lot in South Africa. And one thing that I want people to understand is that President Masisi operates within the four corners of the law. He's got no investigative powers. He's got no arrest powers. He's got no prosecutorial powers. So it is fallacious for a member of parliament to go into the international media and tell them that President Masisi ordered arrest of, of political opponents and journalists. The story that he is talking about in the media of this lady called Resio Hosidinsi, she is a member of the opposition Botswana National Front. She was detained and questioned by the Botswana police, and she was warned and cautioned. When you warn and caution somebody, you are, info you are formally informing them that investigations are carried against them and a charge might be preferred. So it is wrong for the member of parliament to say the lady has not been charged. Mm. And another thing that he conveniently left out of the interview was the fact that in her Facebook page, I'll read what she said. She said, Friday, everyone must be on the streets, on the roads, outside of their offices, outside of classrooms, with their placards and petrol bombs. I'll read this again. With their placards and petrol bombs and protest against the inaction of the BDP-led government. Buildings will burn. Cars will not move. Our lives at risk 24-7. No one must sleep. President Masisi must sleep. Mm. Buildings will burn. Do you want to tell me that when somebody is protesting against gender-based violence, they'll go and burn buildings? Mm. That, is, that is not mm. protest against gender-based violence. And that is a very critical factor that the honorable member deliberately ignored or left out of the interview. Uh, but the second listen. one about another political activist, uh, Justice Motlaban of the Botswana Patriotic Front. It's true he's been arrested and he, with two other people. He was charged with an offense of using offensive electronic communication.
which is contrary to Section 18 of Cybercrime and Computer Related Crimes Act of 2018. This law came in before President Masisi became a member of, became the president. And the second thing, Botswana, like any other country like South Africa, has the laws. We've got the constitution, we've got the penal code. And when the police arrest people or when the police investigate, they don't look at people as politicians. They don't look at people as journalists. They don't look at color. They don't see color. They see a citizen or a resident who is in conflict yeah. with established <clears throat> laws of the country. But if, he, if I can just come in there now. Uh, yes, I... I if that was indeed what the post was, Ms. Khosidinsi, if that was her post on Facebook, and I'm assuming that you have proper proof of, uh, of this having appeared, that she's the author of, uh, of such a post, but if indeed, does it not show you, though, that this is a level of frustration for somebody to feel the way they do, to post something like this, to feel that way about uh, it, that, that uh, maybe uh, uh, the government, just give me a second, that maybe the government is not listening to what people want, they're not listening to the concerns and the fears of people. Let me tell you something. In Botswana, we are a very peaceful nation. There is a Setswana saying, it means we resolve everything through dialogue. And I'm going to ask you as our neighbor, would you love to see Botswana banned? Would you love to see any other country, any of your neighbors banned? Is that how you would want your children in your house to protest against you? Yes, there are so many frustrations, that one we cannot deny. But some of these are not just frustrations. It's political machinations masquerading as frustrations. We are all concerned about gender-based violence. But the same people that we are trying to protect, that we have, and we are protesting to government in order to make sure that they protect the rights of women and children, yeah. what is going to happen to them after we ban the building? Yeah. I'll pose the same question to you again. Is that the kind of a neighbor that you would want to have? No, absolutely not. To absolutely not. And, and, and we have the same concerns here. We have had groups that have, uh, you know, uh, uttered such things that, you know, wanting to taking the good cause, taking a cause that is good, but the action that is called for, of course, does not justify that. You say you like to um, discuss these things, you like to solve them through talking. So where are you? Uh, in terms of talking through all of these issues. I mean, there are several arrests. We can't go through all of them this morning uh, that, yes. uh, that, that, yeah, that the party was talking about. But where are you or, or what are you doing to get to them to, to talk and, and get I'll, your I'll solutions you, through that? Just last week, His Excellency the President, last week Friday, he addressed the nation on gender-based violence. And he informed the nation that a draft bill has been published. And I can con confirm that a draft bill has been published. Sexual offenders bill, sex offenders bill has been published. And it is going to be presented in the November sitting of parliament. And in that bill, I'll just mention two things. It proposes stiffer penalties for sexual offenders. The second thing, it, there's going to be a sexual offenders register. So there is an effort that government is doing. Things are coming up and people need to be patient and see what the bail is going to be bringing about. And when we rush quickly talk about the, gen the arrest of journalists, as I said, the president has no power to arrest journalists. We, the president, if there's one president, I'm not comparing him to others, but I can tell you, the president has an open door policy with the media. The president engages the media all the time. He mentioned a certain journalist called Daniel Kenosi, and he said he's in exile in South Africa, running away from persecution in Botswana. I can tell you that is wrong. The Botswana police have confirmed that the same journalist is currently on the Interpol red notice of wanted persons after fleeing the country. They say he is wanted for two charges of obtaining by false pretenses, which is contrary to Section 308 of the Botswana Penal Code, and this involves large sums of money obtained from two different people on separate occasions. How do you say such a person is running away from political persecution? I would tell you, this is an, an ongoing campaign against tarnishing the good name of His Excellency, the President. All right, Pasha Lifi, thank you very much, the spokesperson for the President of Botswana. Thanks for your time and getting your side of the story as well.